just because the boys are on a bye week does not mean we get to sit here and not talk about the NFL's week eight schedule. And it starts off with a bad game, let me tell you. Uh, the Redskins are absolutely trash. Um, the, the Vikings will probably take care of the easy. So, Seahawks, Falcons again. Falcons are not very good, so um, Seahawks, they did just lose, but, you know, they should take care of business there. Chargers, Bears, two teams that are reeling. You know, there's going to be a lot there, I think. Um, both these teams have, you know, inconsistent offenses, really more so the Bears. But uh, defenses are kind of there, but then again, you know, Bears defense hasn't looked good. Hasn't looked great in their losses, so, you know. Um, Giants-Lions, pretty interesting there. Two teams that are also still reeling, you know, they just, both these teams just lost as well. Um, Lions looking to get back in the win column. Giants also looking to get back in the win column, you know. It's going to be um, an interesting game, let me tell you that. The Jets and the Jags, really uninteresting, uninspiring slate for Sunday, let me tell you, uh, starting off anyway, as I look into the games. Uh, Jets, Jags, Jets are absolutely trash, but, you know, it's any given Sunday, so any of these games could, like, go anywhere. Uh, next up, we got the Bengals, Rams, Bengals are tanking. Um, it's, like, tanking, but really bad. Just just god-awful, god-awful game right here. Um, just a very uninspiring slate of games, let me tell you that. Um, Bucks Titans. We haven't seen the Bucks in like two weeks, so yeah, Jameis is gonna throw picks. Now is the opportunity for the Titans to strike, you know. Um, so, um, do we got the Eagles Bills? Pretty interesting matchup here. Um, the Eagles got blown out. What a terrible defense they have. Very inconsistent offense. The Bills, a very interesting, very interesting team. They got a lot going for them right now. Um, so I'll be watching that game, of course, because um, it's the Eagles. Got to got to keep got to keep up with the Eagles. You know, you, know, you got to hate on the Eagles. I'd rather rather not watch the Giants game or the Redskins game because they're both terrible. But gotta watch the inconsistent Eagles and see how mad EDP or somebody like that gets. You know. Yeah, that should be an interesting game right there. Broncos, Colts, also pretty interesting. The Broncos um, won, you know, a couple games. Then they lost to Kansas City. Um, but, you know, it should be good. It should be a good game, let me tell you. Um, Card Saints, going to be interesting as well. Cardinals, I'm going to be watching this game, of course. It's the later game that really interests me here in the 12 o'clock slate. Um, Guards are 500. They use that air raid effectively. They've been scoring some points. Um, scoring some points, not like the astronomical levels we see in the Bay 12 or something like that, but they've been scoring points. Kyler Murray has been getting a lot better uh, behind that offensive line, which has been awful. Um, Teddy Bridgewater looks to continue the momentum. I think this might be the last week he may be starting. It, it really depends, you know, but uh, Drew Brees' injury is probably, you know, he's probably completely healed up by now. Um, so, yeah. And then we get to the 3 o'clock games, which aren't a lot. But then again, they're kind of interesting, but then again, not so much interesting. First up, first one that is actually interesting is the Panthers, 49ers, 49ers, still undefeated. It's going to be one heck of a game. You know, yeah, Kyle Allen there for the Panthers. Uh, Cam is just not looking too great. You know, he's really the guy. I don't know. Of course, you got Ron Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. You know, he is going to go ham if the 49ers can't stop him. But of course, you know, the 49ers have a great defense. They really invested heavily in the defense, and they've done well with it this year. Uh, it doesn't really matter who the competition is, you know, the 49ers are just going to keep going. They're going to keep going undefeated. Uh, but they keep playing the way they've been playing. You know, Raiders, Texans, not really all that interesting, to be completely honest. Um, Raiders are Raiders are pretty inconsistent. They, they've gotten some 
victories that you know that that do look really good, like the Bears. But you know, both these teams came off losses, so you know it is what it is. Um, Browns Patriots, oh boy, which Browns team are we gonna get? You know, we haven't seen the Browns in a minute either. Which Browns team are we gonna get? Which Browns team are we gonna see? I don't know yet, but if the Patriots start dominating, it's all over. You might as well just change it to the Raiders tax in the game. And then, uh, well, Packers Chiefs is going to be very interesting considering that there is no Patrick Mahomes. Well, the Chiefs, he's out with an ankle injury. Of course, Aaron Rodgers has been playing lights out the last few weeks. Um, so has the offense. You know, they've been playing lights out. You know, the Kansas City defense, they've gotten a lot better. Still need to get things together completely, but, you know, who in the world? I don't even know who the chief starter is for Sunday night, but it's going to be one heck of a game. And finally, of course, and in a disgusting, disgusting manner, let me tell you, the Dolphins-Steelers is just absolutely terrible matchup. Why in the world would the Dolphins? You know what? Monday Night Football is just absolutely garbage, man. Let me tell you that. Just garbage, garbage matchup right here. Dolphin Steelers, just absolutely garbage. D- Dolphins are going to go at 16, I, I guarantee you, right now. Um, Steelers should get the victory in this game, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know who the Steelers starter is for that game either, but who cares? It's Dolphin Steelers Monday night. Who cares? I don't care. Uh, yeah. Not really a lot. Cowboys are on a bye, and I do believe the Ravens are also on a bye. So, you know, kind of an uninteresting slate for the most part. There's still some, there's still some goodies in there. You just got to worm your way in there and find them. So, yeah, that's it. Week 8, see you after Monday night.